of that 300 plus, we have probably 110 or so are exclusively in our ELL program, getting intensive literacy and shut you know, some basic background skills to get them so they can get into the mainstream. The rest of the there are anywhere from 10 to 15 determining factors that will determine how fast the kid gets out of ELL. We test them twice a year. Mm-hmm. When they demonstrate about a fifth grade reading level, we move them out okay. into the mainstream. So what are the trends now? I mean, you said earlier it was in the Middle East, and what kind of trends now do you see people coming into? Well, right now there are two groups that come in. The registers. Steve, correct me if I'm wrong, but we're looking at Burmese, Burmese kids and kids from Iraq. Yep. That's our most recent wave. Yep. We still get Somali, Sudanese, Congolese, Ugandan, um, Two years ago, many, many Latino kids. We still get some, but not, not the big wave we had then. A um, lot of Asian kids here. Chinese, Chinese Cambodian, Cambodian, Vietnamese. Vietnamese. Come from different backgrounds. We might get a kid that's 17 years old that has had a lot of education in their own country, and those kids tend to progress more quickly. We may get a 17-year-old that's had no formal education at all, so those ones obviously take longer. And we may get a 17-year-old who got a little bit of education, and then they got an education maybe in a refugee camp in a, in a country that is not in their own language and is not in English. So, you know, the, the rates vary. You know, mm-hmm. and, and it's also the, another deciding factor is what the type of education but did the education include English instruction mm-hmm. or, or was it just in their native language mm-hmm. 